welcome into this iRacing video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the NVIDIA GeForce game filters to allow you to customize the look and feel of your sim without cranking your iRacing settings um, or installing third-party software like Reshade. Um, this is going to really allow you to tune the look of the sim uh, to your personal preference or to your monitor calibration and get that crisp look that you may have been uh, looking for. Uh, there's a few things we need to do to enable to get started, and then we'll work through it. In your documents, iRacing folder, we go down to the core.ini. Inside the core and I, line three, connect sockets. We need to set that from a zero to a one. Now you need to make sure iRacing is closed when you do this. Give it a save. Secondly, we need to open the NVIDIA GeForce Experience software. Um, looks like this. And we need to head over to general and make sure our in-gate overlay is ticked. And as you can see there, Alt Z uh, to share your, uh, to adjust the settings. So that's the hotkey to bring up the software. So both those things with iRacing closed, open iRacing, and then you should be able to press Alt Z and you should see this menu. Um, game filter hidden here uh, with the hotkey Alt F3. So we're not gonna need this Alt Z uh, option anymore, but if you did wanna customize any of the keyboard shortcuts, they're here, just in case you're using a, a button box or there you don't want to keep using the NVIDIA ways. All right, first things first, we are now going to press Alt F3. Once that's done, we will get this menu up on the left. Now, I've had to actually fake this in OBS because it goes to the far left of your monitor and uh, I'm on an ultra wide and I'm only sharing the center. So you can see we have these style one, style two, style three, and off. Now this is fixed and applied to iRacing itself. So you can go ahead and create yourself a day filter, a night filter, and a artistic filter for say thumbnails or photos or any, uh, you know, something fun and a bit more uh, wacky. So let's just go through and slowly create a filter based on the needs that I felt iRacing needed to adjust. Now, the first thing, if you haven't ever noticed in iRacing that Color temperatures always lean warm. Um, there's a yellow to blue scale. It always leans on the yellow. Uh, and that's something I would have liked to have fixed. And this allows you to do it in real time. So we're going to go ahead and change the color option. Now this opens up a color filter. Now, first of all, we have the option of tint color, which I'm sure you can see in real time. So I'm going to leave that. And then obviously once you have your tint color, you have a tint intensity, obviously how strong the tint is. So you can really go wacky with that. Let's leave those options. Temperature, this is the one. Cool, warm. iRacing always leans on the warm, so I'm gonna tick it down, say six now. I have a play with that. Vibrance, this is, it's not quite saturation, it's the saturation and pop of the, uh, general feel of the, well, you'll see. If I drag this up, we get punchy saturations, drag it down, we lose a lot. So this is personal preference and your monitors, but let's give it a couple of clicks up. But I can fully understand if you uh, don't want the uh, cartoony feel. Um, next up, brightness and contrast. This is a really good one. This is a really good one, especially when we uh, I show you from the cockpit view. Um, let's close up color open up brightness and contrast, and let's look at what contrast does on its own. So low to high. Now this is, oh, I'm exaggerating the feel, but iRacing's always had this grain over it, and it is contrast being a bit soft. Now this is me exacerbating it, but I want you to see what that effect looks like and how you can remove it. So you definitely wanna go up with the contrast, but bear in mind to test it in night. If you crank your contrast levels now in the day, say, let's say you went 30 odd percent, come the night, if you don't have a very good monitor that's with deep blacks, you could be missing out, you know, you could struggle at night. Um, so let's just give that, but well, you can see how grungy it looks at the high levels. It is pretty cool. But let's give that 16, 30 looks okay, 18. Adjust that manually using the right left keys. 22. Highlights, we can drag that up and down, take a look. But it just gives certain areas a pop. So that looks quite nice. So 
let's say around 8% shadows, we can bring those up or flatten them out. So I quite like it. Just a little higher than stock, but really not a lot. Okay. Then we have gamma, but iRacing has its own gamma filter. This is uh, pretty obvious. It just uh, controls the white levels. We have exposure, which is basically your brightness. If you're struggling with a monitor where you're, it's too dark, you can give that a click. I'll give it one click just so, just so we can see the effect in use. So we've got brightness, contrast, and color. They're the effects we've added so far. Let's go and add sharpen. Come into here. Quite literally drag it up and down until you get that desired effect. So too high and everything starts to look a bit wacky. Depending on your eye racing setters as well. We'll take a look at that in a moment as well. So I'm just going to crank it a couple of percent. Let's see what else we've got. Now you have got vignette and tilt shift and uh, all these other super cool effects, but not really for use while racing. If you want to set up a good replay camera, uh, set it to one of your filters, spot on. You know, you can get a really nice effect. Uh, I'll show you what effect two I've been working on uh, for that kind of a use. You've got depth of field, letterbox, night mold, an old film effect, special effects. I've got to show you that. I'm not about to use it, but you get this retro warping effect. Do not use this while driving. I'm just wanting to show you. <laughs> Half tone, once again, do not use this while driving. I just wanted to show you the kind of effects you can pull off. And sepia, you're not going to want uh, to use while racing. Once again, let's delete that. Okay, so let's take a look at this filter on and off. So off, this is a filter that we've just built applied. Off, on. Let's compare it to the one I built earlier. Yeah, I quite like the one we just built. So we hit done in the bottom left. Let's hide that. Okay, so let's go cockpit cam. And let's turn the effects on and off here. So this is off, on, off, on. And what I'm going to do now, bear with me and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a split screen effect. So it's dead down the middle. So let's just bring that right to left just so you can see. There you go. You can see exactly the effect we've created. So if I get it somewhere halfway between that car in front of us, we can see the whites are popping more, the yellowy feel, that yellow grainy feel that iRacing applies, we've definitely removed. Now, maybe it's a little bit too saturated, but that was the, um, where was we? In color, vibrance, once again, this is, it can make it a little cartoony, but as you can see, we're only affecting the right-hand side now. And we could make it a little brighter. But once again, it really depends on your monitor and your needs. There you go. Let's just move that split screen effect around so you can see. This is eye racing. This is the filter we've applied. So let's turn off the split screen feature. Hide that away. And let's let the replay play for a little bit in, let's go TV2. So this is with our own filter applied. So this doesn't just work in replay mode. This works obviously while we're driving cockpit cam as well. You can see we've got this really punchy look. Skies look really blue rather than... Um, now this is possibly a little bit too bright for my liking. Let me just reduce that. But this is the beauty of it. You just keep playing around until, you, yeah, we had gone a little bit too bright. We'd actually blown out the skies. You don't want to do that. Let me just show you the contrast difference inside the cockpit cam. If you've ever felt that grainy effect all over the screen and contrast lets you punch that in until you get that feel that, you know, that everything has its isolated black levels. 
which is really nice. Shadows, once again, we can let those pop or bring them out. Color, let me show you the temperature in use. Blue to yellow. And I say iRacing's always added a, it's always lent on the yellow. And I'll tell you what, once you get used to it gone and you flick to off to on, you get a really nice uh, feel of a difference. Okay, so yeah, th this is the NVIDIA game filter feature. Uh, something I was working on before, me, I mentioned earlier, let me just show you. Sorry, I have to fake the OBS pullover because uh, it's so far over on my screen. So I was playing for th with this effect thumbnails. So let me get to, sorry, bear with me. Let me get to the uh, photo mode I was at earlier. So if I go to my camera, go to chase, rewind a bit um, and I'll show you some of my uh, replay settings to pull off this nicer effect as well where are we yeah this is looking good that'll do okay so one thing in the replay settings now you will have to restart iRacing to pull this off but if I untick the DO depth of field effect you can see iRacing's gone very static and flat. There's no motion left in the scene. So this is a good effect if you are looking to uh, enhance your replay mode. Depth of field. Now we can uh, adjust that amount of bokka with the aperture. So if we bring the aperture a little higher, you see we uh, start moving towards... See, that's a bit too much. There you go. So we start moving towards that feeling of what's in motion and what's closest to the camera. Mixing this with a new filter I just applied. I'll show you now. This is something I've been working on for thumbnails. I've hued it orange. Oh, let me get rid of the... Uh... Yeah, I added this orange hue, uh, much grainier, deeper effect. This is something I've been working on just for my YouTube thumbnails. And then obviously something we worked on. And if I turn off the effect completely, you can see we lean back towards the yellows. So if you apply... A filter, let's say I click on filter three and I hit done. Next time we fire up iRacing, NVIDIA is going to load this filter in for us. And whether we're driving, it doesn't matter if you're in replay mode or in the race, you just jump into your car, start setting some laps, and uh, this is the look and feel you can get. So let's get down the straight. Stay behind the safety car in the right One collar. thing I wanted to show you, let's go to a car further back. With these effects that you're actually adding, Right, let's change the chase camera. Well, far chase, we've customized the hell out of. With the some of the adjustments we've been making, you can actually clear up that uh, smoggy, rough effect that iRacing gives to the uh, information in the distance. Let me show you what I mean. Hopefully it comes up well in here. If we turn it off, um, I think it's in the sharpness layer. Let me just add the sharpness all by itself. We delete brightness, delete color, come into the sharpness. We can, it really depends on your monitor. It's not showing up great on OBS. This is the issue. It's a personal preference. But what I'm trying to explain is you can really clear up that, um, how iRacing renders things in the distance and how uh, low detail it can get. Uh, customizing these settings can really give you a nice punchy feel in the distance. So, this um, this feature is available for all NVIDIA cards. You just got to make sure you set up your connect sockets, game overlay, and then Alt Z is to get to the main menu, or Alt um, F3 to bring up the game filter window that we've been utilizing. And then you've got three active profiles. This works for any game or any sim, but I just wanted to show you the uh, general settings I use for iRacing. So um, some facts to remember and keep in mind iRacing always leans towards the yellow hues. Uh, colors, it really depends if, you know, you want to go for that ACC look or you want to go for more photorealistic. It lets you truly customize the direction you want to go. Uh, being able to bring out the contrast or the shadows is really, have a play with that. You'll be pretty impressed at what you can do. Now, remember, my settings won't just work for you. Uh, I, I myself... I'm using OBS on a different type of monitor than I am for racing, so it can look very different. So this is something that 
you can get the most out of your experience without cranking up all your iRacing settings, without um, having to live with what iRacing gives you. All right, so this is just a short video, just uh, showing you that. It's something I found recently, and I just wanted to make sure everyone was aware of. So I hope it helps. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think or what your settings, if you had any issues. Um, I'm on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So reach out and I'm more than happy to help. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And as usual, catch you in the next one. Goodbye.